Hello everybody, it's Jack. Welcome back to another video. And um, first of all, the gameplay that you're seeing is Advanced Warfare. And the reason why I chose to have Advanced Warfare in the background of this gameplay is simply because of the fact that it makes a lot more sense, especially since uh, with the since it syncs really well with the topic of the discussion that we're going to have in this commentary. And that is the fact that there are whispers going around, or should I say rumors, uh, that uh, that there may be... Uh, nothing's been set in stone, obviously, there's just rumors, but there may be a brand new COD developer that is, that is going to enter in the uh, COD development cycle, which would make it, obviously, a four-year cycle instead of the current three-year cycle that we have now. And, uh, obviously, the, the most recent addition to the cycle and to the developers that make Call of Duty is Sledgehammer, so, as you can see, they're putting their game makes total sense uh, in this commentary, and... The thing is, it looks like that. It looks like Raven Software may be possibly the next developer studio to make their own Call of Duty. And as of right now, <clears throat> with all the feedback that we've been getting from the studio, and at the same at the same time, uh, with all the feedback that they've been getting from fans as well, um, as of right now, Modern Warfare Remastered hasn't even been released yet, and they're the guys that are pretty much in charge of making this uh, for the most part, as far as I understand. Um, or even the whole thing, to, to be honest. And the thing is, uh, every single criticism that fans have been skeptical about the game, uh, they they are pretty much addressing it. I mean, they're being extremely active on Twitter, and everything from the way the guns should sound uh, to the more recent one, to the more recent news that we've gotten recently, like uh, the strafe shooting that's going to be making its return. Uh, they're going to change the medals, the headshot emblem to be more unique to the game itself versus, you know, copying it from the Advanced Warfare engine, which is what they did in, uh, uh, for COD XP when they revealed it. And they're basically changing everything. And, and at the same time, they're, they're pretty much going to give us exactly what they said. And that is basically a COD 4 remastered. In other words, it's going to play pretty much just like COD 4 in terms of everything, perks, um, weapons, attachments, and stuff like that. You name it. Very little changes. For the most part, it's just going to be the graphics that are going to be changed, and uh, they've added a new multiplayer menu or stuff like that. And uh, it, with, in all in all honesty, that doesn't really break or make a game, really. To, to be honest, uh, the multiplayer menu can still be crap, but the game could still play amazing. And it could still be a success, and vice versa. You know, the multiplayer menu could be absolutely amazing and look great, but if the game plays like crap, then it's still not going to do the game any good. So, but. With that being said, even all these little things that they're doing, and especially addressing them right away and giving fans the feedback and being active on Twitter and and just slowly but surely changing pretty much everything that the fans have been wanting, uh, things that need to be a little bit more in tune from what the original COD 4 was, uh, they're basically addressing all these issues and are basically listening to the community. And the community is really starting to... Uh, really starting to appreciate that and you know whispers are going around that these guys may may be the next in line to be in the cycle for Call of Duty and they've been uh, they've pretty much been behind the scenes uh, in previous Call of Duty titles uh, as far as I understand they've uh, they've helped out with the development of Modern Warfare 3 and even a few other games as well um, and even if they haven't uh, they've even done some other things too like uh, I think they did the uh, Elite app I believe which a lot of fans are, are have uh, mixed uh, opinions about but for the most part they've always been behind the scenes and they've always been the guys that are basically if you think about it they're almost like second string developers in a sense because like let's say you've got infinity ward who's developing let's say uh let's say they're developing they developed call of duty ghosts right and let's say you know they needed a little bit of help to get things done more because you know they were developing for so many consoles back at the time uh for the release and at the same time their their studio back then at least i'm not sure now but the infinity ward studio back then wasn't as big as what Treyarch is and, and what Sledgehammer is as well. So they definitely needed more manpower. And uh, Raven Studios was for the developers that basically uh, were, th were the developers that basically filled in those spots and basically helped out with the development of these games. And, um, and it was, it was also, uh, it was also extremely important for them to do that or else we would have gotten the release and God knows what else. And, uh, which also at the same time, simply because of the fact that they were a little bit low in terms of, uh, manpower in terms of developing the games, I think that's also partially why the Infinity Ward games weren't as good as they possibly could have been. Uh, again, I'm not a developer. Again, I don't know every single fact. Uh, some of what I'm saying is purely opinion or speculation, but 
at the same time there's also you know uh, some of the things are also factual as well because you know this, this is what the community has been talking about and you know and, and the thing is uh it gets revealed sooner or later of why there were so many development issues with the game or whatnot through, uh, after some time so um i do know i do know that back then at least infinity ward had a much smaller studio i, I heard it on either on a video or in an interview that i saw or whatnot so uh, all these all these things really do play a role it takes a lot of people to develop a game especially when you have a, a certain time frame to meet it and this raises an interesting question. Now, if this is true, or if this ends up being true, the question is, you know, how, is, how would the community feel about four-year cycle in Call of Duty? Me, in terms of my personal opinion, I think that would be great. I think it'd be, I think Call of Duty would be more solid for both, for both the casuals and the competitive people, uh, simply because of the fact that we're going to get a lot more bang for our buck because they're going to have more time to... Uh, to develop the game and uh, now again three years is a lot of time but the thing is as time goes on people's expectations get really really you know they they expand fans want more and more they expect more and more and you know and there's a certain time frame to meet and all these different business things that come in between and, and all that kind of stuff so when you put all that together uh, a, an extra year certainly doesn't hurt at all I mean sure it would it would cost the uh, it would cost uh, uh, more money to make the game or whatnot and to develop but with that being said, the amount of money that they'd be spending to develop on the game, I mean, they're going to get tremendous returns if the game's done right. I mean, that and then some. So, uh, and especially with all the different kind of things that they're adding in to make more money for themselves now, like supply drops, which which uh, I'm not really a big fan of, you know, unless they're cos cosmetic only, but that's that's a different subject, and I'm not going to really get into that. But, but the thing is, for, uh, as far as my personal opinion is concerned, one year of extra time definitely won't hurt the game, and at the same time, you know, if these guys at Raven, which they've already expressed through an interview that they would absolutely love to make their own Call of Duty game, uh, if this ends up being true, you know, you got a passionate developer, another passionate developer that would put their own spin uh, on the Call of Duty game, and, and quite frankly, Call of Duty is Call of Duty, but at the same time, when you get different uh, different tastes of it, you know, because everybody pretty much knows what to expect from Treyarch now when it comes to their games. Everybody, well, Sledgehammer is still relatively new, so as of right now, the only thing we can expect from, from Sledgehammer is um, is improvement from their first game. So, because we really can't judge that much in Advanced Warfare, because they did a very ballsy thing. The community asked for a change, and they sure as hell gave it to us. So, uh, but with that being said, with everything that they've seen and watched and everything, so we can only expect to see just how well Sledgehammer listens. And you know, you've got Raven over here, who seems to be a developer that has always been behind the scenes and. Uh, and not taking 100% uh, of the credit because, the, again, they're, they're guys that kind of fill in the string, so to speak, to kind of make the game happen because, uh, you know, they need more manpower and they're not the main developers, but they're there to help and to make things happen. So, with that being said, these guys, uh, from everything that has been said on, on Twitter and interviews and stuff like that, these guys seem hungry and passionate and uh, eager to have their own Call of Duty, you know, project if they ever have it. And... If the feedback really is as good as has as been happening so far, I think if it comes to fruition, I think as fans of the genre uh, and as fans of Call of Duty itself, uh, I think we can have, I think we can definitely have more positive things to look forward to than, than negative things. So, um, I personally hope it happens. Uh, I don't see why not. And, you know, at the same time, for those of us that like the specific developer, like Raven, or, or, or let's say, you know, let's say if you're an Infinity Ward guy or something like that, I mean, sure, it'll take longer for you to wait for the Infinity Ward guys to come out, but at the same time, you know, you can get something way, way better than you ever thought simply because of that one extra year. And at the same time, when you, you know, when you wait longer for something, sometimes it's just more rewarding when you finally get it, especially if it ends up being good. And let's not forget that the fact that, well, some of the best games that are made today, not necessarily first-person shooters, but just games in general, are the ones that take longest to make. Like Grand Theft Auto, for instance, or like what they did with Skyrim or whatnot. So that's pretty much it. So anyway, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background. Let me know in your opinions down below. What do you guys think of this, and uh, are you all for it? So if you like the video, let me know. And if you don't, let me know what I can do to make my videos better, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.